Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you today? Good. Bye. Okay, it's nice to see you again. Es un gusto verlos de nuevo. Okay. Okay, we're going to wait three minutes more. We are going to wait for your classmate to be here today. Do have any comment about the yesterday class? Tienen algún comentario acerca de la clase de ayer? Any question? Do you have any question? Any comment? Alguna pregunta, un comentario de la clase de ayer? Students? No, I haven't. You don't have any question? Oh, Michelle, you say, I have one. No, I haven't. Okay. No, I don't have. That is, I don't have. I don't have teacher. Okay. Um, Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today, Dali? I'm fine. Thanks, and you, teacher? I'm okay. Thank you for asking me. Okay. You can see? Yeah. Yes, I can see you. Okay. okay, guys. Hello again. Good evening to everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, yesterday, we have a class about the simple present tense and we studied affirmative and sentences. Uh, please tell me if you have started working on the platform. Ya comenzaron a trabajar en la plataforma. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, we are going to take the first minute of the class uh, to know if you have any question or you have any doubt or if you have a problem in the platform. Tuvieron algún problema para algún ejercicio? Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de los ejercicios que vimos? Do you have any questions? Preguntas acerca de los ejercicios que resolvieron en la plataforma. Hay algún ejercicio difícil, alguno que no entendieron. O estuvieron fáciles, difíciles. ¿Cómo sintieron los primeros ejercicios en la plataforma? Estaban, estaban fáciles. Ok, easy, easy. Ok, excelente. Uh, teacher. Yes, what is your question? El, el, la actividad que consistía en armar preguntas que estaban, bueno, en la que las palabras estaban al, intercaladas. En la 1.10. Eso me costó. Esa me costó. Ah, ok, de armar preguntas. Okay. Solamente Muy mencionar. Vamos. Ok, el día de hoy. Por si se puede. El día de hoy vamos a aprender, ¿verdad? Cómo hacer esas preguntas. No se preocupe. ¿Algún otro comentario? ¿Algún otro problema que hayan tenido en la plataforma? ¿Que no hayan podido ingresar? ¿Que algún ejercicio estuvo difícil? ¿Que quieren que repitamos alguna explicación? Pueden hacérmelo saber, ¿verdad? No tenga pena de levantar su manita virtual, ¿verdad? Ahí tiene la opción y hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? 
si durante la clase tiene alguna pregunta. Dígame, Oscar Baltasar. Teacher, buenas noches. Eh, sí, quizá solamente hacer una sugerencia, ¿verdad? Por lo que se dio ayer, eh, quizá solicitarles el, el, el apoyo a todo el grupo de que por favor mantengan los, los micrófonos apagados porque ayer había mucha retroalimentación, no se le entendía mucho a usted, teacher. Realmente siento que es una falta de respeto el no estar siguiendo indicaciones. Y si hay gente que se está distrayendo mucho, pues que mejor sea honesto si quiere la clase o no, pero a los que queremos estudiar realmente, se nos dificulta escuchar cuando están abiertos todos los micrófonos. Así que por favor que los apaguen. Ok, excelente comentario. Muchas gracias, Bernal. A tenerlo en cuenta, Bernal, eh, mantengamos nuestro micrófono apagado. Si hay la necesidad, si lo encendemos, ¿verdad? Eh, tienen la opción ahí de la manita virtual, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere hacer una pregunta, solo la levanta y aquí me aparece, ¿verdad? Me aparece el icono y la notificación que usted tiene una pregunta. Y así podemos hacerlo de manera más ordenada. Bueno, invitarlos, ¿verdad? Que sigan trabajando en la plataforma. Hay que ir resolviendo esos ejercicios, ¿verdad? En algún momento después del almuerzo, eh, en su hora libre, en su break, en el trabajo. Intente avanzar, ¿verdad? Y si tiene alguna pregunta, ah, siempre ande por ahí en que anotar, ¿verdad? La nota y el, en estos primeros minutos de la clase usted me puede decir, mire, en el ejercicio 1.5, es just an example, en el ejercicio 1.5, I have this problem, yo tengo este problema, ¿verdad? In the exercise 1.7, I couldn't solve this, this question or this exercise. En el ejercicio 1.7 no pude resolver, ¿verdad? No pude resolver este ejercicio. ¿Cómo es, verdad? ¿Cómo se hace? ¿Me puede ayudar? ¿Verdad? Para que todos vayamos aprendiendo. Bueno, si no hay más preguntas o comentarios, let's start with the classroom. Let's start with the class. Just give me a second. Ok. So, let's start with the class, guys. I'm going to... I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, here we go. Uh, can you can you tell me if you can see the presentation? Yeah, I can see. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Just a second. Okay, today we are going to, to study the second part of the simple present tense, right? Yesterday we learned how to make affirmative and how to make negative sentences, oraciones afirmativas y negativas, right? Today we are going to have a review in the first part of this class we're going to have a review of the first class. So let's see. The first thing we studied yesterday was how do you get to work? How do you get to work? And we have four words or four options to answer this question. The first one is I take the bus, I ride a bicycle, I walk to work, I drive to work, those are the, the option, right, to answer this question with the verb take, write, walk, and drive. Now, in third person, how does your sister get to work? She takes the train, she rides a motorcycle, she walks to work, she drives to work. Remember that in third person of the singular, we are going to add a nest to the verbs, right? We are going to have this S to make the sentence grammatically correct. They are a third person. She takes the train, she rides a motorcycle, she walks to work, she drives to work. Then we study the next thing. Okay, uh, let's see. 
um, we say positive and negative, right? Affirmative and negative sentences. And I say, for example, with the verb like, que significa gustar, I like chocolate, we like chocolate, you like chocolate, they like chocolate. To form an affirmative sentences, we had an structure. We studied an structure yesterday. And the structure was the subject, the verb, and the complement. A subject, a verb, and a complement. And we have an affirmative sentences. In this case, I like chocolate. I is the subject, like is the verb, and chocolate is the complement. To make negative sentences, we need this auxiliary, don't and doesn't. Don't and doesn't. Don't lo utilizamos con estos personal pronouns. We are going to use don't with the personal pronouns I, we, you, and they. I don't like chocolate. No me gusta el chocolate. A mí no me gusta el chocolate. We don't like chocolate. A nosotros no nos gusta el chocolate. You don't like chocolate. A ti, ¿verdad? No te gusta el chocolate o a ustedes no les gusta el chocolate. They don't like chocolate. They don't like chocolate. A ellos no les gusta. En tercera persona, ¿verdad? Le agregamos siempre la S al verbo. Está acá. He likes chocolate. She likes chocolate. It likes chocolate. El pronombre que utilizamos para animales o cosas. Y en la oración negativa, we are going to use the auxiliary doesn't. Y el verbo va a ir en su forma normal. ¿verdad? It doesn't like chocolate. He doesn't like chocolate and she doesn't like chocolate. That is what we studied yesterday. Okay, do you have any question at this point? Do you have any question? No. No, no yet. Okay, thank you. No, teacher. Okay, so let's continue. In today's class, we are going to learn how to make question, simple present question. And let's start with this, right? We have two types of question. We have yes, no question, and we have information question. Hay dos tipos de preguntas, ¿verdad? En el presente simple. The first one, you have two options to answer. You can say yes or you can say not. Usted puede decir sí o usted puede decir que no, ¿verdad? That's why the name is yes, no question. Por eso se llaman así, ¿verdad? Preguntas cerradas, decimos in Spanish, ¿verdad? In Spanish, we say, preguntas cerradas solo tiene dos respuestas. Let's see, for example, this one. Okay, first things, we are going to study the structure to make equation. La estructura para hacer preguntas es la siguiente. We are going to need auxiliary do or does at the beginning of the sentence. En el principio de la oración vamos a necesitar uno de estos auxiliares. Plus the subject, más un sujeto, plus the complement, Plus the question mark. And we are going to need this question mark to make a question. Do I try to work? Do I try to work? Es una pregunta reflexiva, ¿verdad? ¿Conduzco yo al trabajo? Do we try to work? ¿Conducimos nosotros al trabajo? Do you try to work? ¿Conduces tú al trabajo? And do they try to work? Conducen ellos al trabajo. Then, with the pronoun, with the personal pronouns, I, we, you, and they, we are going to use do, the auxiliary do. Now, in this other part, we have does he. Does he try to work? Does he try to work? Does it like cheese? Does he, does he try to work? Conduce él al trabajo. Does she try to work? Conduce ella al trabajo. Does it like cheese? ¿Le gusta el queso a este animal? Does it like cheese? Then, with the pronouns he, she, and it, we are going to use does. 
we are going to use the auxiliary does. So let's see. Let's see some examples to this question. Okay, here I have some example. Let's see this. Do you take the bus to work? Do we ride bicycle to work? Do they take the train to work? Hay dos maneras de contestar estas preguntas también, ¿verdad? Una es con una respuesta larga, a full answer or a complete answer, like this one, right? Look at this. Do you take the bus to work? Yes, I take the bus to work. ¿Tomas el bus para ir, a traba para ir al trabajo? Yes, I take the bus to work. Do we ride bicycle to work? No, we don't ride bicycles to work. Do they take the train to work? Yes, they take the train to work. Entonces, esta es una respuesta larga o completa. ¿verdad? Yes, I take the bus to work. No, we don't ride bicycles to work. Yes, they take the train to work. En las terceras personas, we have these examples in the third person. Does she drive to work? Tenemos el auxiliar, ¿verdad? The auxiliary does. The subject, the bird, in the main form, in su forma principal, ¿verdad? Sin conjugar. Does she drive to work? Yes, she drives to work. Does he walk to work? No, he doesn't drive to work. Entonces, estas son respuestas largas o completas. La otra manera de responder estas preguntas. Let's get one second. Es una manera corta, ¿verdad? Look at this. I have some examples here. With the same equation. En la, en la presentación anterior, ¿verdad? De, you have, do you take the bus? Yes, I take the bus to work. That is a long answer. Or a full answer, you can say. Do you take the bus to work? Estas son las respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? Usted puede decir, yes, I do. No, I don't. Do we ride bicycles to work? Yes, we do. No, no, we don't, right? Do they take the train to work? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does she drive to work? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does he go to work? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Esas son las dos opciones que tenemos para responder una pregunta. Una yes, no question in simple present tense. Do you have any question? Do you have any question until this moment? No, teacher. No question? Okay. Very good. So let's continue, guys. We are going to solve this exercise. Complete the following question with do or does. Vamos a completar las siguientes preguntas utilizando do or does. The first one. Hi. Does. 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 Okay. The correct answer is does. Does she go early to work? Excellent. What about the second one? Do. Do. Do, right? We are talking about two people, right? Carmen and Kathy. So they. they yes. Do Carmen yes. and Kathy work at night? Number three. Do. 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 And the last one, number four. Does, 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 does everybody right. ride a motorcycle to work? Does. Yes, thank you. That is the correct answer, does, right? And number four, we're going to use does. So, let's see. Okay, can you please uh, tell me again the answer for number one? 
That's she go early to work. That's she go early to work. What about the second one? What was the correct do, answer? Do. 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 Do Paramedic do. Kati work at night? Excellent. What about the next do. one? Number three. Do. 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 Okay, do they like cheese? Das. And the last das. one? Das. 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 We are talking about a third person, so we are going to use das. So we have the answer, does she go early to work? Do Carmen and Kathy work at night? Do they like cheese? Does Edward ride a motorcycle to work? Ok, ¿cuál sería una respuesta para la primera pregunta? Does she go early to work? Una respuesta corta. Una respuesta no, corta. No, she doesn't. Ok, excelente. Respondemos de manera negativa acá y dice ella, no, she, she does. No, she doesn't. Excellent. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Yeah. What about the next one? What could be an answer for this question? Do Carmen and Katy work at night? Trabaja Carmen y Katy en las noches? Yes, they do. Okay, excellent. Yes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. That is a nice answer. Yes, they do. And the next one, do they like cheese? Do they like cheese? Do they like? Do they like cheese? No, they don't. Okay, excellent. That is a good answer. You are doing great, guys. No, they no, they don't. <clears throat> and the last one. What would be a nice answer for the last one? Yes, he doesn't. Does Edward ride a motorcycle to work? Yes, yes. he doesn't. Yes, he doesn't. That's yes, he not. doesn't. Does. Okay. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He does. Yes, he does. This is the does. correct answer. Does yes, Edward does. ride a motorcycle to work? Yes he, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay, excellent. So let's go with the next type of question, information question. In the siguiente tipo de preguntas, but that information question, we need this structure. W work, plus the auxiliary do or does, plus a verb, plus a complement, plus a question mark. We are going to use this structure. <clears throat> W is worked, auxiliary do or does, heard, complement, and a question mark. And I have here two examples of WH work. In this class, we're going to study these two WH work. Oh, let's see, what and when. Do you know the meaning of this word? What and when? Yeah. What is the meaning of what in Spanish? Can you help me with that, please? Que. 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 Okay, excellent. Que o cual. Okay, it has two meanings, thank you. Que o cual, right? And when, what is the meaning? Do you know the meaning? Cuando. 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 Okay. And I have this example. What time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? ¿A qué horas, verdad? ¿A qué horas te vas a trabajar? Va a trabajar? Eh, when do you take the bus to work? ¿Cuándo toma el bus para el trabajo? Eh, what time do you have breakfast? What time do you have breakfast? ¿A qué horas toma el desayuno o tiene el desayuno? And here are the answer, and we can see the answer here. What time do you go to work? At six o'clock when do you take the bus to work every day cuando te vas en bus al trabajo todos los todos los días every day 
What time do you have breakfast? At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. ¿A qué horas tiene el desayuno? At eight o'clock. Now, in third person, we are going to use the WS word and does. When does he ride a bike to work? On Monday. On Monday. On Monday. On Monday. What time does she have lunch? At 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. Excellent. So now I have a practice here for you. Okay, number one, do you get do you get up early to work? Se levanta temprano para trabajar. Do you get Yes, I do. Do you get up early to work? Okay. Yes, I do. This is an information question or a yes no question. What type of question it is? Yes, I do. Yes, Esta do. pregunta es una pregunta de información o es una pregunta para cerrada, ¿verdad? Yes no question. Cerrada. Yes, yes, the second one, what time do you go to work? Information. Information question. What time do you go to work? And when do you take the bus to work? Information question too, right? Thank you. Yes. And what time do you have dinner? Information. Information. Yes. And the last one, number five. Do you drive to work? Cerrado. Cerrado. Cerrado, right? So, what is the answer for number one? Do you get up early to work? Yes, I, yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Se I levanta usted temprano para ir a trabajar o para el trabajo? Yes. You say, yes, I do, right? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, you can say yes. I do. Y la otra opción sería la que acaban de mencionar, ¿verdad? No hay. No. Don't. Okay, no. No, I don't. No, coma, I don't. don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. What time do you go to work? At five o'clock. Okay. Well, at seven o'clock. We, we are going to have this discussion in groups, right? In some moments, right? So in this moment, as an example, let's say at six. At six o'clock. It's too early. Yeah. Uh, at six o'clock. Okay. Hay alguien que se le que se vaya al trabajo at five five o'clock in the morning. Yes. 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 Some, some time. Antes todavía. Okay. Antes todavía at four o'clock in the morning. At four o'clock in the morning. All day are four thirty. Oh, four thirty. Okay. Yes. And what about at five o'clock? And no. what about at seven o'clock in the morning? ¿Quién se va a esa hora para el trabajo? At seven o'clock in the morning. Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay, excellent. And at eight o'clock. Nobody? Too late, right? At eight o'clock. Too late. Yes. Too late. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> when do you take the bus to work? When do you take the bus to work? Okay, um, in the schedule, no, every day. Um, we can say every day. If you drive to work, you say never. 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 Oh. We can use here sometimes. Algunas veces, ¿verdad? Never, sometimes. Usually, you can say, right? You can use this word here, right? Every day, never, sometimes, usually, rarely. What time do you have dinner? Normally, what time do you have dinner? At six o'clock. At seven. Okay. At 5 p.m. Okay, at six, at seven, at eight, after the class, at nine. 
from the class. At six o'clock in the afternoon, right? Six o'clock, at seven o'clock at night. Uh, do you try to work? Do you try yes, to I do. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. You have two options. I yes, I do. Or no. Uh, I, I don't. I don't. don't. Okay. Do you have any question? Do you have any question until this moment? No. No question? Okay. No question. Okay. So we are going to change this. Okay. Um, do you have a, a paper and pencil there to write? We are going to write some. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Ok, después en grupo van a discutir estas preguntas, ¿verdad? So, let's see, number one. Is this one? Ok, do you like this? That is number one. Yes, I do. Ok, here is the next one. When do you try to work? It is the other question. What time do you start working? What time do you start working? Another question. Do you take the bus to work? Do you take the bus? Do you take the bus to work? And the other one. What time do you have lunch? What time do you have lunch? And let's see this one. What time do you go to bed? Okay, a qué hora se va a descansar? Okay, we're going to have uh, two minutes for you to copy that information. Let me know when you have them written. First, we need to relax. The second one, when do you try to work? The third one, what time do you start working? Fourth, when do you take the bus to work? Fifth when what time do you have lunch? Sixth when what time do you go to bed? Okay, question number one, is it an information question or an yes, no question? Yes, no question. It's a yes, no question, okay? And number two and number three? Information. Information question. Information question. And what about number four? Yes, no question. Yes, no question. And the last two? Information question. question. Information question. Okay, do you have any problem with this vocabulary? ¿Alguna palabra nueva in this sentence? Start. Start. Ok. El verbo Iniciar. start. Comenzar. ¿verdad? What time do you start? Empezar. ¿A qué horas comienza a trabajar? ¿verdad? What time do you start working? Ver. Ok. Ver. Es This is what time do you go to bed? ¿A qué hora se va a descansar? ¿A qué hora se va a dormir? What time do you go to bed? Ok, are you ready guys? ¿Están listos? Yes. Yes. Vamos a mandar al grupo. Ok, uh, give me a second. I'm going to close this. Here. And we're going to make this ring. 
we are doing this, we are going to create five groups. Ok, bueno, vamos a ir a los grupos, ¿verdad? Y en los grupos toman turnos, ¿verdad? Para uno pregunta y el otro responde. Y así vamos a ir practicando, ¿verdad? Practicando esas preguntas y las respuestas. Cada uno va a tener respuestas diferentes, ¿verdad? Y especialmente en las information questions, ¿verdad? Porque cambia la hora en que hacen alguna de esas actividades. ¿De acuerdo? Bueno, vamos a ir a los grupos entonces. Los veo ahí. Hello, Maria. Do you have any problem to enter to the breakout room? Maria. Tiene algún problema para entrar al breakout room? Sí, se salió, María Consuelo. Se salió, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ok. Michelle. Yes. Do you like cheese? Yes, I like cheese. Ah, me too, me too. Me too. Mercedes. Do you take the bus eh, to work? I don't. I don't take the bus to work. Oh, okay. Um, Michelle, what time do you go to bed? Uh, currently, I, I go to bed at night o'clock. Night o'clock. Okay. Yes. Uh, what time? What time do you have lunch? What I I I take uh, lunch at. Uh, Conduces al trabajo. Never. On Monday. Solo los lunes, pa. Solo los uh, lunes. Monday. No, I don't. English, please. Use English, please. Finis. Hola. ¿Terminaron? ¿Todavía van a empezar? No, no. no. Continúe. No, no. Todavía no. What time do you start? At 6 o'clock. Ah, okay. Okay, seguimos entonces. I have the question. I say the question. Do you do you like the cheese? Yes. Do you like cheese? When do you drink the water? Yes, I like. When do you like? Um, what time do you start? Yes, the I do. What time? At uh, seven o'clock. Do you take the bus to work? Yes, I do. What time do you have the lunch? 
at 12 o'clock. What time do you go to bed? At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Okay. You say me. You're doing excellent. You're doing excellent. Continue working. ¿Quién hace falta todavía? Who is missing? ¿Quién hace falta todavía? Me. Me. Ah, okay. Continue doing that. Please, you are doing very good. Thank you, guys. Continue working. Okay. I'm going to visit your classmate. Do you like cheese? You listen to me? Dinner. Excuse me? What time do you have a dinner? At seven o'clock in the night. Okay, me too. <laughs> um, teacher, nosotros ya hicimos todas las preguntas, pero estamos tratando de de hacerla con otras cosas. No sé si los otros compañeros quieren participar porque no, no les escuchamos a ellos. Sí, hello. Hola, Michelle Hernández. Hello, Michelle Hernández. Hello, Roxana Marcela. Y what about Roberto? Has he participated? Has he already participated? Roberto, Michelle, and Roxana. Let's try it. Intenten participar, ¿verdad? Participen. It's important for you to practice. Yeah, Roberto, are you there? Can you listen to me? Roberto. Yes. Okay, you can ask the question to Miriam or to Marta. When do you... Miriam, to 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 fly, turn. To 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 fly, turn. I can hear you, Roberto. Te le escucha como con. Okay, they have a um, oh. they have problem with the audio, right? Algo me preguntaba si me gustaba algo, ¿verdad? Okay, let's continue trying. I'm yes, I think. Okay. Would you like uh, Teacher, usa la escucha. Le escucho un poco cortado. Imagino que es la señal del internet, ¿verdad? Que le está fallando. Eh, Roxana me comentaba en el chat también que tiene problemas con su micrófono. Ah, ok, ok. Ese es el problema. Ok, Marta y yo conseguimos varias, varias respuestas. Casi que nos levantamos a la misma hora y así, así que... Ok, coincidieron bien entonces, quedaron bien en el grupo. Ok, ok, and we're going to finish in a minute, right? Continue making the question and the answer, please. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. Hello. Finish, did you finish? Catherine, tiene apagado su micrófono. Yes, I'm finished. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Noel, for example. Uh, what yes. time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? What time, perdón? What time do you go to bed? <laughs> ah, um, I know what I will. I know 11 or 10 o'clock. 11 or 10 o'clock. Okay, that is too late, right? Yes. Mirna, do you take the bus to work? Hello, Mirna, do you take the bus to work? Mirna, can you listen to me? Yes. 
turn on your microphone, please. Encienda su micrófono, por favor. Okay, Catherine, can you help me with that question? Do you take the bus to work? I don't know the word. I stay in my house. Ah, okay, okay, great. Mm -hmm. And what about Lorena Elizabeth? Do you take the bus to work? Yes, no, I, do. I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you drive to work? Yes, I do. Ah, okay, excellent. And Milagro de Los Angeles. What time do you have lunch? At 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, excellent. Ok, chicos, los veo en la sesión, ¿verdad? Con todos sus compañeros. We are going to finish the okay. exercise. Thank you for your participation. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome again to the class. Thanks, thanks. How was your experience? Can you participate? Did you finish? Yeah, you it's, good. it's good. It's good. Definitely. Great. Okay. It's a good idea. Great. Okay, guys. Thank you for the participation, right? Okay. Thank you very much. I am I am very sudado. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's very hot today, right? Very uh, hot. Su calor el día de hoy. Don't you think that? No creen? Yes, really. Okay, so, it's so hot. Oh, yes, you are right. Okay, thank you for your participation in the small group. So we are going to continue with the class. Let's continue with the presentation. So you did a great job, right? I visited every group and you were working Okay, uh, you were working very good, right? Thank you. So, do you have any question about this? Tienen preguntas acerca de las preguntas? Do you have any question about how to make, how to make question in simple present? No hay preguntas? No. No, no, then no. let's go with something more name. No, okay, this is for you to remember, right? This is for you to remember the third person of the birds. Para que no recordemos, ¿verdad? De la tercera persona en los verbos, ¿verdad? We need to ask an S, right? And there are some small rules we have to follow. Aquí hay algunas pequeñas reglas que tenemos que seguir, ¿verdad? En la terminación de algunos verbos, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo vamos a agregar ES o cuándo vamos a agregar una S en las terceras personas? Let's see this bird. I have here five birds. Watch, yes, finish, go, and fix. fix. Do you know the meaning of this bird? Watch, guess, finish, go, fix. Yes. Yes, do you know the first one, watch? What's the meaning of watch? Okay, watch, mirar, okay. Guess, what about guess? What's the meaning of guess? No, let's see, for example, guess my name. Guess my name. Adivine mi nombre. Guess my name. Adivinar. 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 Okay. Adivinar. Right. Finish. Terminar. Terminar. Then go. Yes. Vamos. Fix. Vamos. Reparar. Reparar. Ah, yes. Right. Fix. Arreglar. Okay. Arreglar. Reparar o arreglar. Well, that, that is the meaning of fix. Let's see this. Um, Verse ending in C H S S H O and X 
we are going to add es, right? Hablan del verbo work, work. Verbo work, en tercera persona solo le agregamos una, una S, ¿verdad? Y nos queda words. Ahora, words. los verbos que terminan en estas letras, ¿verdad? C-H, S, S -H, S -A -O, o, X, X, we are going to add ES. Vamos a agregarle una E y una S a los verbos en terceras personas. De esa manera, watch, watches. Yes, this is finish, finishes, go, go, fix, fixes. Okay, now we have these other rules to remember, right? These other rules to remember it. Uh, birds ending in consonant, los verbos que terminan en una consonante, ¿verdad? Terminan en Y, ¿verdad? Pero antes de esta I va una de estas consonantes, B, C, D, F, or G. For example, study. Termina en una. Bien, right. En white. Pero antes de esta tenemos una consonant. Consonant. Have a consonant. In this case, we are going to delete, right? We're going to take out the white and we're going to write this one, right? I E S. Delete. Why? It's the, it the same and the plural and the singular. It's the same. In no. The plural and the singular. Yes. For a study. For a study. A studies. A studies, right? Yes. It's, it's yes. almost the same rule, right? It's almost the same rule, but in this case, we're okay. about verbs, right? Estamos right. hablando de verbos, right? Y lo que me mencionas cuando estemos hablando de nouns, right? de nombres. Nouns. No. Nombres yes. singulares y nombres plurales. Right? Es okay. casi la misma regla. Study, okay. studies. Carry, carry, bueno, termina en white, pero va precedida de una consonante. Entonces eliminamos la white, the letter white, en we add I, plus I S, más ES. And we have carries, okay. like flies. Okay, these, these are uh, two small rules to remember, right? Dos pequeñas reglas para recordar. Teacher, what is the meaning carry and fly? What is the meaning of carry? Carry is carry. llevar, ¿verdad? Llevar. llevar. Carry, llevar and flight is fly is volar. 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 Okay. Question, do you have any question? Okay. Hey, teacher, have... you, you, you will send the presentation today. Yes, I'm going to share the presentation with you. Okay. In the group. No problem. You can... Thank you. You can study it, right? Okay. La puede imprimir y puede utilizarla como su material de apoyo, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Okay, now just to finish the class, we are going to do a review, right? The next things we're going to study the next thing in the next class. So let's change the presentation and let's go with the whiteboard. Look at this whiteboard. Okay, uh, today we learn how to make, how to make equation, right? How to make equation. And we have two types of question. We have yes, no question, and we have information question, right? Uh, to make a question, we are going to need a subject. Sorry, sorry. Give me a second. We are going to need this auxiliary, do or does. Last, a subject. Last, a verb. Okay, mass verbo plus a bird. Okay, plus a bird. Subject bird plus complement. A complement. Okay. And finally, the question mark. The question mark. Let's see, for example, this question. Do you like chocolate? Do you like chocolate? What is the answer for that question? Do you like chocolate? Yes, yes I, I do. Like. 
Yes, I do. Like, you have two options. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I do. Hay alguien en este grupo que diga no, I don't. No, I don't. No, no me gusta. No me gusta el chocolate. Okay. In this class, we also learn how to make information written with WH word. So we need a WH word plus do or does. Last the subject, last the bird. So, okay, last the bird and last complement. ¿Qué le hace falta? Last the complement. Más, ¿qué le hace falta para que sea la estructura correcta? Question mark. The question, question mark. mark. Yes, question. right. The question mark. Mm -hmm. The question mark, yes. And an example of this question is, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? What time do you get up? A qué hora se levanta? What time do you get up? At, at um, five o'clock. Okay. Five, at five o'clock. Uh -huh. At five o'clock, okay, excellent. At five o'clock. Okay. Excellent. So we also learn the rule, right? In this bird, what is the correct form of the third person? Es. Ok, y es, right? Entonces, I have yeah. Watches. Let's see an example. Veámoslo en un ejemplo. What time do you watch TV? <laughs> she watches TV. She watches TV. She watches TV. And what happened with the following bird? What is the correct form in the third person of this bird? In the third person? Fly. Fly. Yes. Okay. Excellent. We are going to add it is, right? Flies. 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 <clears throat> he flies airplanes. Okay, he flies airplanes. El vuela los aviones, ¿verdad? El vuela aviones. He flies airplanes. Okay, guys, do you have any question for today's class? This is the moment. Do you have any question? No. No? Alguna pregunta, un comentario? Do you have any question? No. Eh, tal vez teacher en la en, en el ejercicio en la plataforma en el en el 1.10 sí. eh, hay hay unas preguntas para armar unas respuestas pero eh, me están dando eh, negativos y me recuerdo que el, en el anterior clase, en el anterior, en la número uno, eh, aparecía lo mismo, pero era cuestión de la plataforma. Tal vez la pueden revisar, teacher. Ah, veamos la pregunta. Le voy a, a compartir aquí. Déjeme abro la plataforma. Second. Según está cargando. Bye. 
ya les comparto la pantalla para que veamos ese, ese ejercicio que le está dando problemas. Vale, muy bien, en lo que abre la plataforma, ¿verdad? Recordarles que tienen que trabajar en esa plataforma, ¿verdad? Tienen que ir avanzando en los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Tienen que ir avanzando en cada uno de esos ejercicios. Eh, ya viene el fin de semana, ¿verdad? Mañana tienen descanso, sábado y domingo. Nos veríamos hasta el día lunes y puede aprovechar, ¿verdad? Puede aprovechar para ir completando los ejercicios en la plataforma. Si tiene alguna duda, me puede escribir al WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ahí estamos para ayudarle. Si tiene algún problema con un ejercicio, ¿verdad? Ok. Por favor, me dice 1.10, ¿verdad? 1.10. Es de que solo hoy queremos... Me... Es en la 2. Ah. 1.10, 2A. 2A, muy bien. 1.10, 2A. Sí. Vale, ahorita comparto la pantalla para que lo podamos ver rápidamente. ¿Es this one? Yes. Tú. Ok, look at this. Uh, Number two. This one. ¿Sí? Vale, acá le está dando la respuesta. This is the answer. Okay. You have to make the, the question. Usted tiene que yes. ordenar las palabras para formar la pregunta, ¿verdad? Correcto. Es de las que vimos el día de hoy. Es la pregunta que Correcto. vimos el día de hoy. Es en la information question. What, eh, what time, time do you, do you lunch? Ok, yes, what time It's do you Yes. What time do you eat lunch? Lunch. Lunch. Pero a mí me está dando negativo. O no, sea, me aparece la X. Me aparece la X en rojo, pues. Entonces, eh, eh, normalmente yo recuerdo que en el anterior, eh, la clase 1, eh, eso no sucedía en la plataforma. Entonces era cuestión de revisar la plataforma porque eh, hay respuestas que eh, pues le aparecen negativas y están correctas. Por eso me llamó la atención y por eso la, la pregunta ahora. Hay, dice, hay que ver si se pone el question mark también, no hay que olvidar. Sí, claro. Ajá. claro, claro bueno. a, pesar, a, pesar, a pesar de que arriba ya lo lleva puesto. Pero yo siempre se lo pongo y aún así parece la. Eh, no me aparece. Es de, revis, es de revisar si no tiene algún espacio de más, porque yo la escribí así y me salió buena. Sí. Eso oh, okay. quiere decir, porque a veces, a veces okay. no nos fijamos que quizás le dejamos dos espacios o algo y eso da, da negativo. Vale, look at this. Claro. Tenemos que fijarnos okay. en dos cosas. La indicación dice que el question mark ya está incluido, ¿verdad? Y. Sí, ya sé. Sí. Bye. Y recuerden que tiene que empezar con una mayúscula la pregunta, ¿verdad? Con letra mayúscula. Yes. yes no sé yes, si yes. se ha así. Sí, está en mayúscula. Sí, va, muy bien. Entonces, sí. ha de ser algún problema de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Yo le voy a tomar una captura de pantalla y voy a preguntarme ¿verdad? qué sucede, ¿verdad? Para poder okay. solventarle okay. ese problema. ¿De acuerdo? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Ok. 